Hello! My name is Mars, and welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. Today we're going to head over to Crystal Dream Lake again, because we've got a little bit of cleanup to do over here. Including uh, our new task for the mob at the hardware store. Alright, first thing I want to do... Go to the junkyard, because there was something where that I needed stench armor to, you know, I needed stench armor to investigate something, and I didn't have any, but I think I have a way to get enough now. A huge rotten log is blocking your path through the woods. I mean, well, not blocking per se, it's just a log, it isn't infinitely long or anything. You can go around it, it just, you know, interrupted you. You know what I mean. Anyway, there's a big rotten log here. Let's investigate. You go around to the other side of the log and discover that the shadier, damper side of it is covered in big weird mushrooms. Neat, or gross, depending on how you feel about mushrooms. They're fine. Let's grab a big old handful of fungus. You grab a large mushroom with both hands and pluck it off of the log. It blinks two little beady eyes at you and waves two little arms in a thoroughly upset manner. When you drop it on the ground, a second mushroom stands up, making angry noises. And then, as you start to back away, you hear a sort of harumph noise behind you, and turn to see a third, much larger mushroom cracking its knuckles at you. Um, let's fight. Oh, it's so cute! Let's see. Mush Mother. And Mushling. Oh, this is what the fairy wanted to... I thought it was like those... I thought that the fairy wanted to create those mushroom men. Not these cute little guys. Um, okay, so... I can do a lot of damage to her right out the bat. Um, let's do this first of all. This one will be killed by poison. And... Yeah, and she'll just die on her time turn from poison. And you just gunned down this cute little thing, Molly. I got a mushroom cap and another mushroom steak. <laughs> you aren't going to take any she from some dumb mushrooms, that's for sure. Nice. Alright. Alright, so I think it was here. No. This is a stinky. Okay. So I think I just need to... I don't know where I got... Oh. Oh, I put... Um, stench armor on the pants. So now I can put on this mask. And have enough stench armor. Dig through it. Congratulations. It's the worst pair of pants you could have ever imagined. Yay. Trash soak pants. Making, wearing these pants makes you wish you could afford better pants. Okay, I, it was my pants that made me able to um, dig through you, so I don't think I'm going to put on any more. Um, oh, the mushroom cap is a hat. <laughs> Alright, I better go back to the hat guy in that case. Um, my HP is a lot lower than it was yesterday. I don't remember what I did to increase it so much, but... Alright. So next we want to go to the distillery. Oh, there's something more here. As you're walking down a dirt road for your destination, you catch a whiff of dog food. You turn your head towards its source, which turns out to be a pet store. Greta's Compassionate Pet Store. That must be somewhere we can get new familiars. Um, but I'm going to go to the distillery first. And read this hobo code. Translate it. The code reads, Be careful not to drop your handkerchief in this barrel. Hmm. You reach in the barrel to see if anyone ignored your advice. They did. Boo soaked handkerchief. This is a hanky soaked in some nice smelling schnapps. Plus five stench armor. Alright. What's my current accessory? Just plus one mysticality. Um... Um... At this point, I'm not really sure 
what I need. I haven't encountered any actual enemies that do stench damage, so I don't need to put this on right now. I don't want to lower my mysticality, so I think I'll keep my current accessory for now. Okay. Let's see. Can I make any potions? Sleeves armor and pomade. What's my current potion? No. My current potion is plus three physical armor. Okay. I like having a lot of physical armor. All right, let's check out this pet store. Oh, I already got this. Okay, she stepped in some spores. All right. Um, like first thing I'm gonna erase some of these notes. Um, erase. One, yes, and erase six, yes, okay. Oh, that's right, I need to go back to the fairy lair. It's one of those boxes full of bees. A bee box, we think it's called. Check for honey. Apparently this box hasn't been harvested in years. The honey is as hard as a rock. Impenetrable shellac. Some shellac comes from insects, but you don't. if you don't know that, it can come from basically anywhere. Smart of Greta to sell compassionate pets instead of indifferent ones. Oh, there's another cat here. All right. Good fronds are hard to find. What's in that hole? A scrawny looking cat is sleeping here. Do I? Oh yeah, I gave my sardines to the guy. <laughs> I should probably go buy more. Greta, you presume? I love her little flower. That's the kind of thing I would wear in my hair. Hello there. Welcome to Greta's Compassionate Pet Store. I'm Greta. Hi, Greta. I'm Vivian. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Where are all the pets? Oh, they're out back. In cages? No, in the woods. I see. What stops them from leaving? Compassion. Okay, what pets do you have for sale? Well, I got this snake available for adoption. I've also got one giant mosquito left in stock. Tell me more about the snake. Oh, you can't go wrong with the world's most dangerous rope. This guy will totally fill your enemies up with poison. Just 150 meat. That might be good. Um, and the mosquito? Hey now, don't knock it. A mosquito is great to have on your side in a fight. Not only can they suck the blood out of stuff, they can also pump that blood into you to heal you. Mathematically speaking, that's twice the power. Huh. A mere 150 meat adoption fee and it's all yours. And I'll ask her what she feeds them. Oh, you don't worry about regular food. They'll graze or scavenge for whatever. They're very resourceful. Well, that's certainly convenient. If you want to soup them up a bit, though, make them really beefy, I sell some specially formulated familiar chow. I'm a little uncomfortable with the wor use of words like soup and beef in a pet store, but okay. Haha. <laughs> Tell me about that special cow. It's probably what I need to give the cat. I've got three bags of familiar chow left. Increases the familiar's muscle, mysticality, and moxie by one, and maximum HP by three. One bag of familiar chow coming right up. More like going right down your familiar's gullet. Haha. Ha. Thank you, Greta. Alright, first I'm gonna feed... No, that's not what the pet cat wants. Okay. Fine. Well, I definitely want to try out the snake. Now you just need to give your new venomous friend a name. Slithery D. Um, what's a good name for someone that poisons? Um, uh, <laughs> I see Slithery D and all I can think of is Sweet D from It's Always Sunny. Um, uh, I'll name it that. Sweet Dee Dee. Okay. Sweet Dee Dee the snake applies poison to a random enemy. Out of all the snakes you own, this is the only one. Oh, she's so cute. Here you go. Thanks, Greta. Alright. Um, and I have some meat. Let's... 
I just want to see what the mosquito actually does. Now you just need to give it a name. Buzz. Um. <laughs> uh, it sex blood and ruby. Like blood. Ruby the mosquito. Bites enemies for physical damage and then heals you. She's got more max HP. Given this thing's size, you're glad it's friendly. Ruby, huh? Classic. Here you go. You might want to get a malaria shot just in case. Thanks, Greta. Unfortunately, I'm totally out of pets. I guess that's fortunate for the pets, though. All right. Sweet Dee Dee the snake. Um, Ruby has more of everything. But I want to try Sweet Dee Dee because... Let's... Yes. Alright, let's see what her stats are now. Not amazing, but I guess she doesn't need high stats to... Um, she doesn't need super high stats to do poison damage, I guess, because it's a status effect. Alright, let's go to the fairy lair. La la la. A squirrel chatters angrily at you from a nearby hollow tree, presumably trying to scare you away from its stash. A real tactical mistake on its part, since now you know where its stash is. It scampers away as you appear in the hole. You find not just the expected nuts, but also several wallets? Huh, has this squirrel been mugging hikers? Maybe you should get out of here before it comes back with a knife. Good idea. Alright, there is that. Oh, hello. It's a weird little pocket of nothingness, just kind of hovering here. Maybe you should ask Jessica about it. Um, okay. There is that statue I wanted. Take it back to your room. Yes. You drag the horrible sculpture to the bus stop. A bus arrives, but refuses to pick you up. Because of the horrible sculpture, I mean. You spend the next several hours dragging it back to your room. Huh. Oh, I'm in my room now. Pretend to fight it? Ooh, fairy fisticuffs. Plus three to melee weapon attacks. That's good. You duck and weave, bob and swat. Are you shadow boxing or are the shadows boxing you? Nice. Hey, Jessica. I found a weird little hole in space. A what? Like a sort of shadow kind of pocket kind of thing? Huh, you didn't put your hands in there or anything, did you? No. Okay, good. You think that would be bad? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me? But it seems like putting your hands into a weird pouch of shadow energy would be a bad idea. Makes sense. Charles did something to a pair of pliers. Deionized them or something I didn't catch. Ah, here they are. Shadow closing pliers. Jessica assures you the jaws come together at a special angle or something. Use these to shield, seal shadow pouches. If you see any more of those things, you should be able to use these pliers to pitch them closed without actually touching them with your hands. Oh, neat. Thanks. Cool. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go back to the fairy lair. Very slowly. Move a giant tree out of the way. Flex your muscles at some nearby squirrels. Very impressive. And let's close that shadow pocket. Close it. I'm not going to reach inside. We place the jaws of the pliers around the little hole and wrench them closed. Or pl 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 ply them closed, I guess. Alright. Now let's go to the hardware store, because that's where our thing needs to be. Off the side of the dirt road, you see a little trail of mushrooms. You follow it for a while and find that it leads to a cave whose mouth has been choked by mushrooms. Those things are bad for you. Let's go there now. There's more here than I thought there would be. Ooh, yuck. Uh, another uh, grinding spot. Good place to practice with my snake. Ah, this huge rising mass of fungus must be the reason they call this place Mushroom Mountain. Oh, she's so big. Plus three poison, that's incredible. Mushman Poisoner. Well, I'm not gonna let that happen. Um... Um, actually, I can, yeah, 
and then and then the poison will kill him yes and I can do a lot of damage to the mush mother yeah 14 spooky damage that's more because I attacked the um what's it called the statue You've reduced the amount of fungus in the mountain by a small amount. There's still a lot of fungus remaining. I got a mushroom spear. Like the story of its acquisition, this spear is long and painful, and nobody at the coffee shop is interested in it. <laughs> Excellent. Alright. I'm... I like that snake. That's good. Her HP is a little low right now, but... Uh, you know, what am I gonna do? Um... The future version of yourself strolls up to you and hands you a fat wad of meat. You know it's the future version and not the past version because you don't remember this happening before. Here, take this meat. Technically, I guess I would be repaying it to the future me, but that's me now, so you'll have to do. What? But what's the point of giving me meat if I have to give it back to me later? You'll be making meat much more easily later, so this won't seem like as much then. Just think of it as a no-interest loan. On the contrary, I actually am interested. She rolls her eyes at you. Sheesh, future you is a jerk. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, don't forget to pay you back. Or the universe will probably explode or something. She paid me back for the... The animals. Oh, I've already been here. Hi, sir. Termite poison. Oh, 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 oh. Termite poison. That's how I do the thing at the mine. Okay. Got any termite poison? I wish. Regulatory agency made me stop selling it a few years back because it was quote unquote killing everybody who used it. Huh, some more of an everything poison then. Hey, uh, wicked good for termites though. Alright. Alright, I know how to how to do the, the mine quest now. I think the shakedown is gonna have to go later. What do you have for sale? No, I need the termite poison. Ask about house rentals. You're renting out houses? Can I rent the last one? Yeah, sure. Um. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like a place to get some free XP. Um. The pet store. Pet store? Oh, haha, you must mean the bait shop. Love the sense of humor you get. Pet worms. Eddie ready, I'll get the pit dog tomorrow and help the outhouse finish the day after. What else can I do for you? Where do I get termite poison then? Termite poison. Here, 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 here. Among them, you see a mason jar filled with an oily brown liquid. It has a handwritten label that says termite poison. 22 meat. I'll take it. Termoblast termite spray. Mind you don't get any of that on your skin, and don't breathe the fumes. Don't pour it down any drains or rivers, or otherwise let it get into the groundwater. And if the jar starts to melt, get it into a fresh jar straight away. Thanks. Okay, the shakedown is gonna have to wait. I'm getting those crystals. I'm very excited about this. I was so stuck. So you find some spider webs dressed across your path. As you move to brush them away, you notice the runic patterns woven into the webs. Is it spider writing? You determine that the runes are spider speak for send flies. While you're surprised to learn that spiders can write, you're unsurprised to learn that the writing is so pedestrian. Move along. Okay. I gotta go back. Oh. Shadow flyers. Gotta stop them from caving in the place. <clears throat> Was it down with chemicals? Yes. The support beam is now termite free. Great. Excellent. Ugh. Oh. This place should have changed a lot. 
There's still a big crack on the wall there, but I can go this way. Fancy mining helmets. Grab it. Mining helmet. Plus two physical armor. This helmet is heavy, but it has a light. An extremely enthusiastic rat has chewed a hole in the solidly locked solid steel cabinet. Reach in. You root around in the cabinet. You manage to find one stick of dynamite within arm's reach. This is a 22-year-old stick of dynamite. You're lucky you found this instead of a 44-year-old stick. They get really dangerous when they're that old. Alright, stick the dynamite in. Light it up with a match. Oh, she's so cute. You've seen some disappointing explosions in your life, but that one really failed to even make a dent in the cake. This rock must be made of tougher stuff than a relatively fresh stick of dynamite can handle. Hmm, what's this way? Nothing. Okay. Okay. I already... Ugh! I need another match. Where do I get matches? I think I can get more matches... ...from the hardware store. You find a decaying nightstand discarded in a ditch. Which is kind of a weird place to find a nightstand. Maybe someone got so mad about stepping their toes all the time that they angrily drove it out to the woods and threw it out of the car. Check the drawer. Junk mail. And sharpening stone. Nice. Alright. Steel toed boots? No. Batteries. Buy some matches, and I probably gotta go back in time and buy even more matches. Okay. Alright. Hopefully, all you need to do is just use um... multiple matches and sticks of dynamite um <laughs> if not i'm gonna wait i'm about to waste a lot of matches just off the one side of the trail you see two things at roughly the same time the first thing is a whole flock of those horrible murder fairies dancing around merrily and laughing in shrill little voices the second is the bloody carcass of a medium-sized bear that they're hopping up and down on and occasionally chewing oh there's a third thing all of the fairies stopping what they're doing and turning to look at you one of them pulls out a revolver and giggles. Another flips open a straight razor and makes a, a noise that sounds a lot like a confused and dying bear. Please don't show me the bear. No, Molly! Alright. That guy's very poisoned. Um, first things first. We're brawling. Um, Alright. They're gonna attack me. Um, I'm most worried about these fairy gun mothers. So I'm gonna throw a rocket one. And... Wrap one of the others with my cane. Such overkill. <laughs> oh, sweet Dee Dee, why is your health bar backwards? That's weird. Okay, my my HP is still not quite as high as it was yesterday, but it's still pretty high compared to my allies. No! Okay. Alright. You screwed me, Mr. Fairy Wackadoo. Um. Alright. I'm gonna throw a thing. 
and yeah, you're dangerous. I'm just gonna get rid of you. You are dangerous in every way. Um, and I have Molly. That guy's big dead. Oh, I love that poison. Um, I'm doing a poison build, I guess. Fairy knife. Nice. Okay. All right. I got some dynamite. I got a match. She makes her cute little face again. Oh, do I need to go? No, I don't have the code. Ugh, do I need to go back in time? To get the dynamite? Oh, oh, oh. I know what I need to do. Put the dynamite in the crack of the wall. No! Ugh! I, I think I'm being so smart and then it's not what I think. Um. Uh. Do I put the dynamite where the crack is going to be? No. Okay. I need to go back to. No. Ah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I'm still stuck. It is extremely locked. Hold on. Um. Oh, okay. I can't open the letters because I don't have a letter opener. Um. Back in the past, it is extremely locked. What did I want? I wanted to look at the um, mining helmet. No, I thought maybe it would have the code written on it. I don't know. Ugh. Does anything here have the code to the dynamite safe written on it? No. Okay. Well, I made a little bit of progress, but right now I think I'm just going to go back to the hardware store. I gained 10 meat from the squirrel. <sighs> Is there anything else I need to do here? I should probably buy out his shop. Uh, no, I don't need that. No. Alright. Propose a shaking. I've been asked to shake up some of your merchandise. Come again. There's some mob guys who want to intimidate you for some reason. They sent here me here to shake things up. Or down? Something like that. Huh. Well, those cans of paint over there could use a good shaking. I ain't get around to it for a while. Okay, sounds good. Can't say I feel particularly intimidated, though. Shake them up. You give all the paint a vigorous shaking. The proprietor nods his thanks. Do you have any more candy? More candy. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna go back to Ocean City and... Oh, it's a little cloudy today. I shook up his paint cans. Do I still have the side quest? Nope. Alright, I did it. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end the episode here, um, and in the next one, I think I will go to the college campus, because I'm pretty sure I've done everything I want to do in Crystal Dream Lake, except for get that stupid geode open. Uh, I still don't know how I'm going to do that, um, but I'll, I'll figure it out. It's fine. Alright, I have been Mars. And I will be back with more Shadows Over Loathing.